In the book Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell says, practice isn't the thing that you do once you're good, it's the thing that you do that makes you good. Hey, welcome back. Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. So there's a number of things that I talk about when people talk about building their confidence and really getting good at something. And especially in the Confident Athlete Program, this is something we talk about a lot. And if you've listened to my episodes with Tyson Durfee, I've shared that a lot because he really narrows it down. He talks about Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hours and how he got to the point where he felt like he deserved to win. He became a world champion because he felt like he deserved it because he put in the time and effort to do it. And so I wanna talk about a few things that tie this all together. First of all, just this morning, I was on a coaching call with someone and we were talking about the things that she's doing to build up her business. And, you know, we talk a lot about when, well, a couple things, first of all, in my mindset questions, one of the questions is, what are you gonna to do today that'll make you step out of your comfort zone? And we've talked about this a lot because when you step out of your comfort zone, you become more comfortable at whatever that is that you're doing. And so the next time you do it, there's a higher level of comfort. Well, if you're doing that every single day, your comfort level is getting better and better and you're getting more and more confidence. And she was just talking exactly about that. The things that she used to be very uncomfortable and timid about, she has a lot more confidence and it's not a problem for her to do now. And so what are the things that you need to do, whether you're an athlete or whether you're an entrepreneur or whatever you're doing, what are you uncomfortable doing that you need to start doing to get better? Russell Brunson talks about publishing daily because it'll help you to find your voice. You know, this is episode 730 whatever. I hope that over 700 plus episodes, I found my voice and I'm doing a lot better than I was in episode one and two. But as we practice things, we get better and better and better. And that's why I'm gonna to refer to Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers, in a moment. But with my mindset questions, and if you don't have my mindset questions, either one, go get the mindset journal, or two, go to coachhagey.com slash mindset and um, get the free mindset questions there because you should be going through those every single day. But first of all, stepping out of your comfort zone, publishing daily, all of those things, the consistency of the practice, doing it over and over, makes you more comfortable doing it. Increases your confidence, increases your capabilities. You know, even when we, in the Confident Athlete program with Tammy Matheny, she talks in her book, The Confident Athlete, that one of the things about confidence is it's a skill that you have to work on every single day. It's not something you're born with, you work on it every single day. And so, as we work on these things, we get better. And so I also want to tie this into a conversation that I had with one of the athletes out of our Confident Athlete program this week. And I was talking about the importance of putting in the practice. Even when you're, this was a college rodeo athlete that is on a rodeo team, that this individual is significantly the best on the team. And I expressed how they need to make sure that their level of practice stays at the elite level to help them to continue to get better and not to slack off because they're already at the top of that team. They've got to challenge themselves more and more. But there's something I want to read right out of Outliers here. It says, the thing that distinguishes one performer from another is how hard he or she works. It's not does the person do it. It's how hard they work. And this was you know they were talking he was talking about a specific situation and it was tied with music but with whatever you're doing whether it's a sport or whether it's your business if you're a salesperson what are the things that you're working on that you're doing intentionally practicing the things that are going to make you better and how hard are you working at it now in here he goes on to talk about the 10,000 hour rule he says 10,000 hours is the magic number of greatness the emerging pitchers from the studies in the 10,000 hours of practice is required to achieve the level of mastery associated with being a world-class expert in anything, in anything. That's the thing to remember. Now, in my interview with Tyson Durfee, 
he talked about that and then he talked about the world champions and he said you know he says i don't i don't know what that number is but it's probably twenty thousand hours and my interview with him was over a year ago and at that time i think he said he had thirty-two thousand hours is what he figured he had practiced and that is why he's a world champion because he's put in the time so as you look at that what are the things that you're doing in your career in your business in your sport that you're putting in the diligent intentional practice that's helping you deserve to be the number one person deserve to be at the top to have that feeling that you deserve it more than your competition because you're the one that's put in the work exactly like tyson said and if you haven't seen my interview with tyson make sure to go find that because it is an excellent interview whether you're an entrepreneur an athlete or whatever i refer people to it all the time because he did such a great job in that interview but it's the thing i want you to think about what are the things that you need to do what do you need to focus on to put in the time to be at the level that you expect to be at you know you look at your goals that you have and you know as we talk about accountability and all those things that are so important to make sure are you doing the things are you putting in the time that you deserve to achieve those goals because the more time you put in the harder you work at it the more chances you're going to have of success so that's what i want to encourage you to do figure out what what is your game plan what is it you want to win at what is it that you want to be the expert put in the time and you know if you if you're looking at if you're an entrepreneur start publishing daily and that can be a blog that can be a vlog that can be social media whatever it is but start publishing daily what are you going to publish about your journey what are you doing what are you doing on a daily basis to achieve the goals that you're trying to achieve and it's more important and so much more important that you're doing it than anyone's even seeing it reading it hearing it whatever it is the part of, that's important is that you're actually going through the process and doing it all right thanks for being with me um i want to talk about the entrepreneur coaching program just for a moment here uh, I mentioned it a few episodes ago that someone asked me about it because in my offer right now that I'm giving away all the freebies just to give it a try, one of the things, what, basically what you do is if you order um, one of the mindset journals through this offer, which is at coachhagey.com slash entrepreneur, you get $2,500 in free resources that I give you, plus a free month of the entrepreneur coaching group. Now, they asked me, if this whole offer was based around the mindset journal no that that was just a way for me to create a really great offer for you and i believe so much in that mindset journal a way to get that in your hands but the whole entrepreneur coaching program is designed to help you become an optimal performing entrepreneur the success path is something that really is focused on helping you become a great entrepreneur and really work on your authority marketing and your personal branding um something that i'll add to that youtube formula is a book of daryl eaves that i'm reading right now if you're in doing anything trying to build your brand i strongly suggest you go grab that book but it also we have monthly master classes we have monthly personal development training there is so much in there and i just want to encourage you to go try it out and being a part of that group i've got it discounted right now at 49 dollars a month but if you want to try it out for a month free go to the coachhagey.com slash entrepreneur get the mindset journal for 1995 i believe what it is and then you get a free month of that plus some other resources just go check it out let me let me know if you have any questions hope to see you in there see you on friday are you an entrepreneur are you one of the crazy ones the ones that thinks different that wants to take action on things because you know you can change the world do you want to become an optimal performing entrepreneur an entrepreneur that is successful in their business, in their relationships, in their spirituality, in their personal development, in all areas. They're successful all the way around. If that is you, I want you to come and check out the Entrepreneur Coaching Group. That's what our focus is, to help people become optimal performing entrepreneurs. Now, the Entrepreneur Coaching Group is a membership site where we've got so many powerful tools to help you achieve your goals. Every month, we've got new content. We've got new masterclasses. We've got new 
personal development training. We've got experts that are helping us all to achieve our biggest goals. And I want you to give it a try out for free. If you go to coachhagey.com slash entrepreneur, you can check out the package I've put together that isn't just free access for a month of the entrepreneur coaching group. I've put together some of my best resources, over $2,500 of resources that you're gonna get for free just for checking it out. So go take a look at it, order my mindset journal, get $2,500 worth of free resources and check out the Entrepreneur Coaching Group. I look forward to seeing you in there and helping you become an optimal performing entrepreneur. Ogmandino said that the difference between those who have failed and those who have succeeded lies in the difference of their habits. Good habits are the keys to success. Many of the habits that'll bring you success in life are easy to do, but they're also easy not to do. I developed the Mindset Journal so that I could easily implement powerful success habits into my daily routine. The power of the Mindset Journal comes from knowing your top priorities and scheduling them into your day. The power of the reticular activating system and its relationship to your goals, your mindset questions, and your daily accountability. So if you want to implement some quick and effective success habits into your daily routine, go to jeffhagey.com slash mindset journal and get yours today.